Hello everybody. This is Dr. Shikha Mukhija, Senior IVF Consultant and Center Head, Indra IVF Gorakhpur. Today I have a very important topic to discuss, Premature Ovarian Failure or POF. Now what is Premature Ovarian Failure? It is defined as ovarian when the ovarian failure occurs before the age of 40. That, uh, that means that the ovaries, they stop producing eggs before the age of 40. Now we all know uh, that females are born with whatever eggs they are ever going to have. So uh, they are born with around like 1 to 2 million follicles. They get depleted over time and uh, with age and with each menstrual cycle. And uh, around 40 to 50, uh, the eggs get uh, depleted completely and then the female has menopause. Now, uh, if this egg de depletion, it occurs before the age of 40, that uh, in 30s or even in 20s, then we know, call it as premature ovarian failure. And it has been seen that uh, in members of same family, like mothers, sisters, uh, they share this tendency of premature egg de depletion. So, uh, if we start discussing the causes, the cause could be chromosomal uh, like Turner's or fragile X syndrome. Causes could be autoimmune or it could be due to some infection, uh, some viral diseases. Could be due to chemotherapy or uh, radiotherapy. Uh, could be due to some environmental factors like exposure to pesticides or cigarette smoking. And cause could be unknown also. Now, how will this female present? Uh, this female will present with uh, amenorrhea or scanty menses and missed periods and uh, maybe uh, a failure to conceive and she must be having low estrogen symptoms like uh, hot flushes, uh, night sweats and vaginal dryness, dry eye and anxiety, depression. Other associated symptoms may also be present like osteoporosis or uh, heart diseases uh, may also be associated with this. So now how will I, uh, how will we diagnose this situation? A female with uh, amenorrhea or infrequent menses, she visits us and uh, we can get some hormone levels done like a serum FSH and serum E2 levels. And a serum FSH level more than 40 milli international units uh, uh, noted two times like four weeks apart and serum E2 levels below 20 picogram uh, ml uh, it almost clinches the diagnosis and also uh, when we do a trans vaginal sonography we see small uterus uh, with small ovaries with maybe less follicles or no follicles so uh, with these hormones and a TVS uh, we can uh, get to a diagnosis uh, now uh, for management See, uh, we cannot bring the eggs back, right? Once they are finished, we cannot bring them back. So now, uh, what is the management? Uh, we can give hormone replacement therapy, uh, which is estrogen and progesterone. They can be given cyclically to the patient. Plus, uh, to prevent osteoporosis, vitamin D and calcium supplements should be given to these females. And she should be encouraged to exercise and keep fit. If she is suffering from infertility also, uh, she can definitely uh, visit an infertility specialist and maybe if few eggs are there, uh, uh, she can try with her own eggs but if uh, most of the time the option of donor egg uh, has to be exercised, so, uh, but she can get pregnant with them of, of course. So uh, that is all about premature ovarian failure. Thank you.